Let's talk about a new class of sleep medications that I've been getting asked a lot of questions about called the Dora's drugs. Before we get into that, I should note the first line recommended treatment for insomnia is not sleeping pills, but instead cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia or CBTI for short. But let's come back to the Dora's drugs. As a class of drugs, there are three FDA approved, Suvorexant, Lomborexant, and Daridorexant. Try saying that very quickly after a couple of glasses of wine. But coming back to it, how do these new medications work? Well, they act very differently than things like Ambien, Lanesta, Sonata. Dora's drugs act like a clever set of chemical fingers and they go down deep into the brain and they just dial down the volume on wakefulness and then they step back and they allow the antithesis of wakefulness to come in its place, which is this thing called more naturalistic sleep. Now, just because these medications improve your sleep doesn't necessarily mean that you are a better physiological organism as a consequence the next day. But two recent studies suggested that it does provide that benefit, focused here on Alzheimer's disease pathology. The first study in humans demonstrated that using the first of those drugs, Suvorexant, in people who were 50 years and older, when they measured the amount of Alzheimer's proteins that were circulating in the cerebrospinal fluid before versus after sleep, those individuals, by way of that better sleep, had cleansed the brain of more amyloid and tau protein, two of the protein culprits of Alzheimer's disease. We also know from a recent animal study where those animals were designed to overexpress the amount of Alzheimer's disease pathology, treating them with one of these Dora's drugs reduced down the amount of Alzheimer's pathology that would normally have built up, and it protected their memory centers from shrinkage by somewhere between 30 to 40%. Now, we are a long way from suggesting that these medications should be used or consider or even thought about as a treatment approach or a preventative tool for Alzheimer's disease. That's not the point of this video. It's simply to say that these new class of medications, A, they produce sleep in a more naturalistic way, and B, that sleep that they provide is functional. It's not epiphenomenal. It seems to make you a better version of your physiological self the day after relative to the night before. So that is a little bit about the Dora's drugs, how they work, the mechanisms, and some of the benefits.